So when you push down, the power goes. The power goes. Can we give the chicken some power? Yeah. I had an hour of sleep last night, got spammed with like, you're a steroid addict, you're a steroid user, Freely said you've been on steroids for five years, I mean people took it out of context, really didn't say that, but it was insane, so I just wanted to clear the air, because there's a few trolls out there saying all sorts of stuff. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying Harley's a steroid addict, or he's been on it for five years, or anything like that, people do take it out of context. People <laughs> just try and like cause drama between us. Um, the longest I've ever, ever taken steroids, and I was transparent about it, was that November 2014 experiment where I documented everything. You know, going to the doctors, all that stuff. Yeah, but people just want to like, they don't want to find anything to yeah. pull you down about. Have I, used I mean, the, yeah. have I used steroids since then with my dental surgery and crash and even this year when I had uh, that fight and my tooth was damaged? Definitely. But it's like we're talking small amounts. You can tell if someone's on the gear because the arms will be bigger than... Does my arm look like a, a soldier? It's not even that much bigger than Freely's arm. And I'm a man. So... I got an email from someone I know this morning. He's like, man, you're like, you know, you, you got to get off the gas. Like, I'm not on the fucking gas like that, man. Like, these people don't understand dosages. Even a girl was in the Q&A the other day. She put out Q&A up. And that's what those trolls were using. Oh, like what was her name? Uh, can't remember what her name was, but people just take it out of context. Yeah. If I was on steroids, I would be 90 kilos, swole as a motherfucker. And people, I, people would be coming for me for weightlifting advice, because I'd look like it. Because when you stay on, you just become so anabolic. Even if you are cycling a decent amount. The pro cyclists, the amount of steroids they use is very, 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 very small. Because you gain too much weight too quick, and a cyclist doesn't want that. A cyclist wants a fast recovery. I don't need fast recovery. I'm riding up Doyce and Tep at 200 watts. I may be doing 320 watts on a good day. In the Tour de France, like Lance Armstrong was on steroids, but very, very, very small amounts. Because you just, you gain too much weight, too quick. And if you go back to November 2014, you'll see at the end of my little steroid experiment how my face is bigger and I'm bigger. And that's only after like four or five weeks. So those people who say I'm on steroids for the last five years or four years or year, that's absolute rubbish, and the proof is I would be massive. Because even if steroids are designed to make people gain weight, even laying in bed. So I just wanted to clear that up. Have I used steroids for longer than five weeks at a time? Once, in 2014. Have I used steroids for that chest injury? Yes, and I was transparent about it. My issue is I am transparent with that, and people take it out of context. And that's why people lie about stuff because it's easy to lie than explain what you just said. If that makes sense. And I think they expect it because you go after the steroid users. Yeah. Like they, they expect you to be transparent. Well, one, I don't make an income based on my physique. I don't make an income based on my athletic performance. When I call out the fake natives who say, buy my program, I got swole just doing deadlifts or whatever, or intermittent fasting, that's what I call out. So I'm transparent about that. If I had a steroid problem, I would look like a steroid user. I don't look like a steroid user, I don't have a steroid problem. Yeah. Can you increase recovery time from injuries with steroids? Yes, 100%. And that's why like, all the basketball players, and even my jaw surgery, I had my jaw drilled out for corrective bite, and the dentist is like, he's going, mate, like, what? what? We did the x-ray before and after, he's like, what'd you do? You know? I said, I just, you know, whatever, I didn't say what I did. Was it my diet and lifestyle? Yeah, that helps a lot. But definitely, when you take a little bit of exogenous hormone, it increases the, the bone density. That's even with anorexics, sometimes get prescribed like nandrolone or oxymethylone because it builds the bone density. Just like girls who've got low bone density go to the doctor, the doctor gives them estrogen or something like that. So I took a male hormone for bone density in my surgery and people make me out as some like fake natty rich piano guy. Yes, I mean, and I think people have to understand, like, realize that it doesn't make you a bad person if you take a steroid yeah. or if you take steroids or whatever. You know? I think people associate it with being a bad person for some reason. There's just so much stigma about it. There's a lot of people who really believe it, though, too. Really believe it? Yeah, that you're on steroids. Well, they want to hate. But here's the proof. 
If I was on, e people say I'm on EPO. If I was on EPO, with, I've got 20 years of training under the belt, right? I would be doing probably 27 minutes up here in a couple of weeks, you know? Maybe high 27s. And my power would be like, you know, 360 watts or whatever. It was just, a, you know, maybe a month training. My best time this year has been 32.46. Will I go faster than that tomorrow? Definitely. But my times aren't unbelievable based on 20 years of riding. Yeah. And, and some people just want to hate, you know what I mean? And like, you can say all you want, they'll still yeah. try and hate on you. So you just can't please them. You've got to remember that as well. Yeah. Why but, do you have to use the steroids for the job? It's faster recovery. It's 100%. Like, if I broke my leg tomorrow, I would take steroids, no doubt. Because you get a faster recovery. That's why all the professional athletes use them. Because if you get an injury, you get a faster recovery. Just like if someone... Like why there are some players, like, they break a bone and then, like... They're on, gro <laughs> they're on growth hormone on everything. In the next national... Boom. Yeah. Boom. Pharmacology lets the human body do things beyond what is, you know, normal. So I'm definitely all for, if you have an accident or something like that, I'm not for using steroids to go to the gym and look swole and then selling an e-book to someone saying, hey, I'm all natty. And your 14-year-old fans believe you and then they don't believe me. How much did you take that? I took 250 milligram uh, every fortnight. So two shots in a month, which is a laughable amount. You don't need to take much at all. The thing, if you take too much, you shut down your normal natural testosterone levels. I don't want to do that. I don't want to shut down my natural testosterone levels. So that's why I didn't take much and I didn't take it for long. If you take it longer than four, four or five weeks, you shut down your normal testosterone levels. So that's why I don't recommend doing steroids. But if you do do them, do them like from medical supervision and therapeutic dosages only. Just like painkillers. Some people take, take, take painkillers just to go to work or something like that because they've got a little bit of a, a headache. I take an aspirin because they've got a headache. Like, I don't rate that. But if you've got extreme pain from an accident, watch the camera, oh. <laughs> then <laughs> take some painkillers. Extra effect. <laughs> what do you think about HGH? What do you think about HGH? Very, 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 very common. You, you, you probably dated some guys on HGH back in the day. How many steroid users they, they, do you They're yeah. usually like in um, older men that yeah, are yeah. using it. My dad took it and it really helped his shoulder. Yeah, oh, yeah, I've, yeah. I've seen some like yeah. some pretty amazing transformations of older men at the gym yeah. doing HGH. Pretty amazing. You, you said the other day you dated Mr. Australia or something like that and mm -hmm. a few steroid guys. Yeah, yeah. How, were, were any of them my size? No, they weren't yeah. your size. So obviously it's different. If you're, hey, if you're on steroid, if you're on steroids, if you have a steroid problem. Yeah, I'm sorry if I gave anyone that impression yesterday or the day before that Harley's the same as like, you know, the standard like gym guy who's doing it for aesthetic reasons or anything like that. That's not what I meant to, you know, um, imply. So, definitely not. Soldier. Hate but but if, you see me, if you see me one day on YouTube looking like Kino body, then you know why. <laughs> you know why. 100%. 100% Kino body on you the said, gas. Fuck it, I'm going to do it. Yeah, and sometimes I think that, but I, just, I prefer cycling. Yeah. I prefer cycling. And every kilo as a cyclist is basically one second per minute. So if I put on five kilos of muscle, which is easy to do, then I lose maybe 50 seconds pretty quickly on a climb. I prefer being lightweight and lean and healthy than being a soldier. Because that's the trap. Once you once your identity becomes about your muscle gains, then you, that's when steroids become addictive. Definitely. Mm. Yeah, it's dangerous. And that's what most guys are using yeah. it for. So just to recap, in case there's any doubt, how about you steroids? Yes, I've been pretty clear about that. Would I have used them again? Yes. For therapeutic reasons, surgery reasons, or accident reasons. Is my performance steroid assisted? No. And the proof of that is my best times, my best power output was in 2013. My best 10 minute power output was in 2013. Pre steroids error. Steroids don't really increase performance for a cyclist unless you're in a stage race where 
training, racing for five hours, eight hours a day is naturally you lowering your testosterone levels and you might take 10 milligrams of androl per day just to bring it up a little bit. Otherwise, steroids won't help you as a cyclist for one day racing, etc. EPO will. EPO definitely will. Am I an EPO? No. Have I ever taken EPO? Never. Would I take EPO for a YouTube video under some guidance? For sure. For sure. I like to be transparent. And I'm very curious as well. I was curious what performance gain I would have as a cyclist. I was curious what it would feel like. I was curious to how much muscle I'd put on. And my bench press was at an all time high just after five weeks. I had a bench press for 20 years. I'd use it every now and then. And just after five weeks on a low dosage, testosterone and anthate, my bench press was all time high. Just for five weeks. It's crazy. Crazy. No wonder guys, no wonder guys in the gym get addicted yeah. to it. It is. It, steroids definitely addictive because it changes your physique, and people give you compliments about it, and then you're like, "Whoa, you yeah. know, maybe I'll do a bit more. More is better." So if you're gonna get use them, guys, be real careful, and I don't recommend them unless it's maybe some you had a surgery or whatever. How much weight did I lose? Uh, I lost a lot of weight, man. And that's why I can't do big miles. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I can't do big miles. I just get too lean. And people already, people call me the, you know, the skinny tapeworm. And then they call me the steroid abuser. <laughs> then the cars make you fat. It's like, I'm either on steroids, soldier, or I'm too underweight and cars make you fat. Like, it's just, it's insane. How much weight did I lose? Um, it's hard to say, but if you look at the video, I'm really, really, really lean. Like, lightweight. And I was flying. And that's when I set my PRs for power. Yeah? That's when I set my PRs, because I was super light and super trained up. And I haven't been able to beat that power. Even with steroids, I haven't been able to beat that, that time trial power. You mean watts per kilo? Watts per kilo and total, yeah, watts per kilo. And total watts. Yeah. So the, the only thing I notice with steroids and cycling is sprint power. Yeah, for sure, you notice that straight away. But time trialing power, unless you're doing stage races, it won't help. It won't help. How was the reaction of the people that you met uh, after the ride in Solini? So much in the oh yeah, yeah. <clears throat> you remember that freely, like when I, 2013, 2014, I was doing those big mile challenges. I look like a, I did look like a heroin addict. People still call me a heroin addict. I've never used heroin, but people still call me a heroin addict. I remember when you were 59 kilos. Yeah, yeah. 2008, he was 59 kilos <laughs> at six foot. Pretty light. Yeah. Very light. You didn't have the power though. No. no. We weren't eating enough. We were 100% raw, so we just weren't eating enough. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Let me feed the baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How much uh, weight did you put on in preparation for the 2015 Strava January 2nd? No, I was, I was pretty lean, man. How many miles did you? I don't remember. I did 6,000. 25 in, that, in 2013 and then 2014 I was in 6545. Five. I could have done a lot more, yeah. but I was doing a lot, a lot of climbing. I mean specifically the January uh, Cyclist Travel Challenge. Which year? 